Well, let's hope that the Golden State Warriors are not going to take any days off this summer no. because they need to be hammering the phones, no. Monte. Well, they'll be locked in on National Mike, Free Agency Day. Well, that's June 30th. <laughs> and we brought the name. I, I want to get in on this conversation real quick because what do you think Andrew Wiggins' value is right now around the league? He's still relatively young, okay? He's shown tremendous promise. He's shown that he could be at the very top of his powers, Monte, the second best player on a championship team, and that is nothing to scoff at. As a Scotty Pippen level performance in that playoff run with Andrew Wiggins a couple seasons ago. Yep. But he's been inconsistent. He's had to deal with stuff off the court. He's had some injuries. Right. I don't know if he's involved as much as he can be right. on a day in and day out basis yeah. on the floor. Where are you at with Andrew Wiggins in this offseason? I, I when I look at that contract three years left, Spadoni and Obviously, one the, the final season of the contract is a player option. And I see where Kaminga's at, and I see where Moody's at. And I don't know if Clay's going to be around. I think it is time. It, it feels like Andrew Wiggins needs to change the scenery. And the personal issues are the personal issues, man. You just got to take care of that. And I, I respect it, and I understand it. But on the team, how many times do we hear Clay, Steph, CP3, Steve Kerr, Andrew Wiggins is important to us. We need Andrew Wiggins to be aggressive. We need him to to not go four to five possessions without touching the basketball. And you know what part of that is? You got to want to have the ball. You got to give me that. Yes. Got to be aggressive. Guys who want the ball, get the ball. Guys who want the ball, get the ball, and they shoot. I just, oh. I just don't think that's his mindset. It's not that, his mindset, and just, maybe it's not his nature. So, yeah. you know what? You may have to part ways. If you want to get better, it almost feels like you certainly have to deal Wiggins to either get a player, picks, something that could help you next season and move off that money. It almost feels like it's imperative to move off him. That's why I'm at with Andrew Wiggins. I love Wiggs. I love who he is. But can you count on him, count on him to be consistent day in and day out in the last two years of proving that you can't really do that? You can't count on him to be consistent. And so that's why he needs to change a bit. And maybe it's the offense. Maybe it's the evolution of the offense. Maybe you need to... You need to go more pick and roll, more ISO. I don't know. But Wiggs, I would start there. I would try to move off of him more so than trying to move off of Clay Thompson. That's for damn sure. Because I can't count on a jumper. No. I just can't. Too many inconsistencies. But oh. And it's always he'll have that one game, and fans are like, oh, my God, he's back. He's back. If he can just do that the next game, but he doesn't. Or he does it for two games, and then he's just has one of his Andrew Wiggins stat lines that he had a, like right. 50 times this year where it's 11 points, right. 3 of 8 couple boards and assists, a block, and then it's just like he gets lost out there. You forget he's on the yeah. screen half no, the time. <laughs> and for a player of his caliber going number one overall out of Kansas and the level of expectations he has had in his career, this was easily his worst season of his basketball career. And I just don't think you could bank on him ever returning to that form consistently right. For the Golden State Warriors, and you need some consistency. If he's not going to give me it, give me a player like Jonathan Kaminga that I know wants the ball and is going to try to score or try to do something, try to be creative. And I keep using that word "try," and it's maybe it's unfair of me right. to you know bestow that on Andrew, not saying he's trying because I don't know what's going on in his brain. None of us do. I'm, and, and listen, and there's shows and days where I'm I'm off right. and I'm not doing well, and I would hate for people to be crushing me constantly because I'm quote unquote inconsistent like that. But the Warriors are at an inflection point right now when it comes to their future in this league being contenders or not, and I just can't count on that guy who is just inconsistent. It just is what it is at yeah. this point. Not, Nothing not against him as a person point. or anything like yeah, that. Not at that price point. We're no. talking basketball. And here. I'm looking at a guy, and maybe this is maybe this team scoffs at it, but I'm looking at a team, and you always say there's a sucker in the NBA, and there's not a lot of suckers right now, I would say. Well, you don't there's know that team, yet. There's a team, though, that you did business with last year. In the Washington Wizards. And I'm looking at a player. I don't know if it's going to be like for like the same thing. And then maybe you have to attach a pick or something else. Does Kyle Kuzma do anything for you? No, I'd rather have Avia. Do you think he's a young piece for them, though, yeah, still? Yeah, he is. And I, I, I just would rather have that. And he showed Kyle a lot Kuzma. of improvement. There's Denny Avia, obviously, out yeah, of Israel. I, I, yeah. I like him. I like him a lot. Okay. That's the guy. If Washington wants to do business... You know, and you're probably not going to get him for Andrew Wiggins, no doubt. He's 23. He's 23 years old. But Ninth overall the, pick back in 2020. Yep, but he rebounds. He passes. Uh, his efficiency. 
You look at it for the three point line. Shoot thirty seven percent from the free throw line, fifty one percent from the floor. Six nine, he's six nine, two ten. Can stretch the floor, spacing. I will love him as opposed to Kyle. Kyle Kuzma is a good player, but I don't know how he fits into this offense. Six six nine. When he's motivated, he's twenty eight years old. You are getting younger. I think he's a better scorer than Wiggins. I think he would. You know, he compliments Steph. He does. He. he I. I I'd listen to Kyle Kuzma. He could Kuzma. be a little bit of a knucklehead at times on the court, obviously. I, I, but I, I mean, what's the money at, though, right now for Kuz? What's so the I'm money I'm looking at? at it right now. So he signed through 2027, and his annual cap hit is looking $23 million, 21, 19. That's it? That's it. Damn. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at Kyle Kuzma. He gives you something. For he, that price point? He, he checks. Uh, well, I'm trying Carter, to check. you said, no, you're, you're out of the Kyle Kuzma. I'm trying experience. to check boxes right now, right. and he's one of the few players that you may be able to have right now that's, that's, that checks length, athleticism, yeah. and, can, and can score. So if that's what we're trying to do, that's a perfect candidate for me. I know a lot of people think of him. He played next to oh, LeBron he dated and the a, Lakers. He dated a Kardashian. He was a Laker. Who cares about Who all cares that? All that? Who, who cares? cares about all that? Who cares? He's got to leave that fashion in Washington. Oh, who cares about the fashion? No, he is a 33% three-point shooter. That's, uh, you know, style. he shot 36% with the Lakers one year. Um, actually shot 36% twice with the Lakers, but he's been down to 34, 33, 33. Bad team. Bad team, no doubt. A lot of spotlight on you. You're going to play easier basketball because yeah. of the gravity of Stephen Curry. I hate Spadoni. I'm not mad at the Kuzma comp. I would rather have Avia. Yes. But I'd settle for... Kyle Kuzma. That's not a bad... I think that's a net positive for the Warriors. Yeah, if we're no, looking at trying to get better in ways you can do that, and if you're trying to move off a guy who's inconsistent with Andrew Wiggins, I think that's a move that could be good for both parties because that's also, you'd be pairing Wiggins with this guy in Jordan Poole, I, who I, they were tight, Bonte. I mean, you're 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 close to the team. Yeah. That that whole Poole situation, I know, bothered Andrew Wiggins. No doubt. It did. And well, got, we don't know like, it, but it had to. Yes. It had to. I'm not, some people say Kuzma's a bigger Nick Young. No, thank you. No, he is not a bigger Nick Young. Now, no. Corey Kispert, now Wiggs for Avi and Corey Kispert, well, that's a hell of a deal. Well, that's... Kispert, yeah. Kispert can hit the three. I like that, uh, SC. That's a good proposal. As we talk trades and we talk Warriors offseason here. Gonzaga Bulldogs. But we got another call. Oh. You're not going to believe this. Not, not only did we just get another call, <laughs> we got another call about this subject with Stephen Curry. Oh, my goodness. Robert in Fremont. Oh, what is God. happening, Robert? Robert. Careful, Robert. Love, love, love me. Let's go. It's all right. Love me. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm so sorry. You're all good. You're all good, uh, Robert. Yes, I'm one of those guys. Um, if you guys um, know basketball history, my biggest fear a couple of years ago, actually, was we were, we were going to turn into the late 80s Boston Celtics, and I never want that. I'm one of those guys who believe in the front of the uniform and not the back. And as much as I love Steph Curry, He's the guy that's going to bring an, a new infusion of players in here. Not maybe not draft picks. Who cares about that? But if we can get some nice young mid-level talent, a couple of guys, maybe one good guy uh, who has star potential potentially, we have to be able to make that trade and move forward. Man, we can't just. You guys know basketball as much as I do, or anybody else do. Can you name me one basketball team in the past, a championship team moving forward? who had a, a point guard who was damn near 40 years old, mm. a successful team with a, a point guard who was damn near 40 years old. Name me one team who was successful. No, who not as – well, well, the Phoenix Suns with Chris Paul a couple of years ago went to the finals, but he was 38, 30, 36, 36, 36 yeah, but he yeah. wasn't the guy. Devin Booker was the guy. 37, yeah. 30, Devin yeah, Booker was the guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, no, I get what I'm you're saying. Games. Steph Curry, he's getting tired through mid-games and – you know, and so that's why he has so many sloppy turnovers, and you can just see it. Yeah. Like, the level is going down, and so make that move while you can. That's all I'm saying. It's for the future purposes, you have to. I'm not, I'm not, I, I hear you. I don't think you have to yet. I don't think you have to yet, but Spadoni, we kind of knew with the way the season was playing out that that question would pop up more and more and more. And no, I'm not trading 30. I'm going to make that clear before somebody aggregates no, us no, and no. clips us. We're not entertaining Steph and Curry. Those are not our opinions. We're not trading Steph. And We're Curry. not trading Steph, but everybody's allowed to have an opinion. And that's why this offseason is so so tenuous for the Golden State Warriors. We don't know what's going to happen here. Do you get younger? Do you get older? Whew. $10 Ion spent here to say, wow. I think Pods will make a leap shooting threes. He shot 43.8% of Santa Clara, and he'll have an offseason practicing with the best shooter to walk the earth. I do think Pod's, what is Pod's ceiling? 
Can Pops take that leap? Because if he starts draining some threes, that's a difference. I think he is at, at his best. What he could be is a maybe a six man of the year candidate. Can he be like what a Malik Monk could be for the Sacramento different Kings and player. has been different, different, but skill set wise, I think I think he, he does a little more to uh, Moses Moody. He Moody, rebounds better. Moody, well, Steve Kerr. I mean, not Moses Moody, Malik Monk. He, he rebounds said. better. He does. He does rebounds better. I think I was very impressed with his passing ability. Now there was a lot of times where he dribbles, 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 doesn't know what to do with the ball, then hucks it back, and it's just like, okay, you need to have a plan there. But again. For a rookie, Bonte, I think Mike Dunleavy has not gotten enough credit for the offseason he had last year and the oh, draft that he had. Really good. We have not brought up his name at all. He knocked it out of the park with Trace Jackson Davis and uh, Brandon Pajemski out of yeah. Santa Clara. It's been so, they're going to make all rookie teams, but I just don't know on a championship team where you would slot a guy like that. I think at best maybe a six man role. It's not. That's but, not bad. But that's that, an how long is that going to take? Yes, that's an elevator role. Now yes. he did shoot as as. Uh, as uh, Ion mentioned, he did shoot to 43.8% from three in his last year at Santa Clara. 36 minutes a game, nine, 20 points a game, nine rebounds down in the West Coast Conference. Can he hit that shot more consistently with the Golden State Warriors? That was a struggle for him, spot-up shooting. And I think Pods has, you know, he has a work ethic to get better. I, I think the guy has some dog in him. Now, he's not the most athletic player, no doubt. Um, he's got to work on that. But overall, I, I'm not mad at Pods and, and what he did this season. At a three point percentage, thirty eight and a half percent this year. I want to see him just become more fluid with the spot up shooting. I think it was Casey Marin called, and he's he had so much. I feel like not anger, but he just like disdain for Brandon Pajemski. Yeah, I, I don't like, know why. Of all the things that happened pa- this year, he was one of the Pods, few bright spots. Was I mean, he not? Think about how hard it is for a rookie to play with these guys in this system. In this system to play with these championship for players. that head coach. I'm not mad at Pods, man. I think Pods had a stellar rookie season. Now, some people say, oh, man, you can add Cam Whitmore. Well, Pods played. Pods is going to make an all-rookie well, team. Well, the guy that got taken right before you could take him was Jaime Hawkins. That was yeah, the guy for me that, that was, he would have been the perfect That would have been nice. Oh, well, the Lakers, nice. Lakers could have had him. He was right in their back.